Tavion Robinson, the return man for Virginia Tech. He's not going to get a chance, I don't believe. Back, 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 still going back. Fields it inside the 10. He is going to run it back. Robinson breaking free. The punter slows him up, and they bring him down on the 36-yard line. Just like he did, he was able to make the first guy miss and get up the field. You see he's not dancing. He's running straight back up the field. He picks up some great blocks. And as a returner, this is your worst nightmare, just you and the punter. And he's not able to make a miss. But that's, <laughs> that's a big-time play for it. Keyshawn King is deep for Virginia Tech. Week two, here we go. And King going to bring it out from the goal line. And King has room to midfield. And an electric start to week two in college football. Davis brought him down, and the Hokies have great field position. Exactly. You don't want to put Bailey Hockman in too many bad situations where Virginia Tech knows that he's throwing the ball. They swing it out quickly to Lane on the right. He's shy of the first down, but it will be third down and manageable. Six passes last year, did not play last Friday night in the season opener against North Carolina. He hands it off on first down to Blackshear. Spins at the 40, and he's got the first down to the 35-yard line. Former Rutgers Scarlet Knight, Raheem Blackshear. And again, the Blue Raiders crowd the line, don't they? They're daring him to throw. Burmeister has room to run. Flag on the play, and Burmeister gets popped on the 37-yard line, and that was a vicious hit in Middle Tennessee State Territory. He hits like that. He tries to get down, and, yeah, that's that, that shoulder. Burmeister to the end zone. It is caught. Touchdown, Tech Tavion Robinson. Yeah, I tell you what, that's a statement there that telling the, the fans and everybody that I'm okay. That was a perfect pass. Tavion went up and caught it at his high. Snap back. Quarterback keeps. Quarterback dives for the touchdown. A two-yard touchdown run. And the hometown Hokies lead 14-0. Bachman to the air, he's got a man wide open. There was a breakdown in the secondary, and Jaron Peace made that as easy as you could. Young man out of Los Angeles. Yeah, it looks like the two defensive backs, they both tried to take the look route and got confused. It's just two guys making a mistake. Can't do that on a third and long. From the 23, Hockman to the air again. Beautiful ball delivered to the six-yard line right to Jimmy Marshall. Virginia Tech was bringing pressure last week. This week, they're just letting the defensive line do it. There they are. In the he was going to Florida State. To the end zone. He throws. It's caught. Was the receiver in bounds? Uh-uh. Incomplete pass. Wyndham and Waller running down the sidelines. Wyndham caught it, but he was not in bounds. Let's see. That might be closer than... Receiver did not complete the catch, so he's out of bounds. That previous play is under further review. Yeah, if I'm taking a look at it, it looks like he has possession of it with one foot down. I think that might be an overturn. He's now completed 13 of 18 on the day. Hokies come on the blitz, and they get home. Jamare Connor Making a big play when... His team needed him to. That's what that defense looked like last week. Guys flying around, making plays. They felt that North Carolina wanted Howe to win the game for him. Hawkman in trouble and sacked back on the 35-yard line. I'd like to say that that was a coverage sack. They tried to come back to the same play they had success on in the third and long, and it wasn't there. No one was open. So it gave the D-line to get there and make a big play.
Hockman throws it back. They set up the screen. This could be a big play for Marshall. And Jimmy Marshall's coming across the 40 down to the 37-yard line. And a couple of offensive linemen coming back this way. What an amazing play call because my eyes were at the top of the screen as well thinking that they were doing a rollout. Split to the right on second and short. On the ground to Holston. The hole, Holston, the touchdown. Great push by the offensive line and that cut right there by Holston. Even when the running game isn't going well, you can. That shows effort. Schaefer did that at Syracuse, and he's doing that now at Middle Tennessee. Deep shot. Caught by Turner. Down to the 35. Mobley is in the game. They're going to go with a direct snap to the big fella out of Knoxville. Fake the end around. Mobley, the tuck, the run, and down he goes. Jamari Connor chops down Mobley on first down. Mobley and Anderson are in the backfield with him. He keeps it and has room. And trips and goes down, but he does have the first down. Does the Pembroke Pines, Florida native. Give Middle Tennessee State credit. There's no back down in them. They look as if they feel like they should be on the same field as Virginia Tech. And they, they think that they can win. They're playing with that type of confidence. Both teams have played three quarterbacks. Hockman back in now for the Blue Raiders, out to the 40. And the South Paul flips it short over the middle to Pierce. And he has the first down with second effort crossing the 50-yard line right in front of Nasir Peoples. Hockman lets it go, and it's intercepted by Waller. The magic of Lane Stadium, that crowd roars, and Virginia Tech gets the turnover. First of all, Bruce, welcome back. It's so nice to have you back at Lane Stadium. It's, it's amazing to be back. It's been a long time, and uh, so happy to be back. And uh, what a great, great job Frank has done with this program now, Foo, and really excited to be here. He's already thrown one touchdown today. They keep this on the ground. Blackshear, did he get in? Yes, sir! He's a heck of a push by the offensive line, and Blackshear does a great job of finishing off this run. I think he got a little bit of help getting pushed in there, but that's the way you finish your drive off. <laughs> and we lose. That's the only thing people remember me for, that play. <laughs> You're saying ACC officials got you back then. Oh, did they ever? He stepped out of bounds on the near sideline. That's Elijah Metcalf out of Charlotte. It will be enough for the first down. Lumrick takes the snap, hands it off, and an easy walk in for Blackshear. A heck of a play call. They fooled all of us. Lumrick's able to use his acceleration to get through there. What we don't see is Tavion Robinson. There he is with the block down the field. Did allow Blumberg to be able to make a big run and then here just finishing it off. I understand they're trying to get his confidence going and the pass again going, but at what cost? Going to throw it again. Burmeister steps into that one and he's got his man Robinson. First down to the 43 of Middle Tennessee State. One on one with Reed Blankenship. Tech, I'm going to keep coming to Tavion Robinson. I mean, this dude makes plays every single time. One day sticking with the two tight ends. Payute comes in motion. On the ground. Big gain to the 10. Inside the 5. It'll be first and goal. Blumrick on the ground. Showing what he can do with his wheels. First. Blown back is Peasant. Cunningham flaps his hands. The blitz is on. And a touchdown pass to the end zone to Tinsley. It's a well executed play. Stirs the back shoulder like fade. And the clock will wind out. Justin Fuentes' team improves the 2 0 on the season.
Hokies are now undefeated under Fuente. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.